Hey there, it's Diane here. It's so nice to see you again. So today I'm going to show you how we went from no space, a room swap and new build to get more room and even create their very own private lounge space, also known as a man cave. So before you do, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, or even share it. You never know who you're going to expire today. So I'll see you on the other side. Walking into the room already, we see a large space here for more than two people to actually uh, stand up and change and get into their regular clothes for the day. Whereas before, we can barely get two people to change because my daughter's bed was like literally right here and it was pretty tight. Now, I did a lot of minimizing and a lot of cleaning. So each boy has their space. They claimed their space. Now, because his is larger, I put some books there for some decoration. And so this is what their new beds look like. Really taking advantage of the height of the room. We have standard eight, and it's actually creating more space for people to walk through, to change, to play. They have their space. They have their individual beds. Um, they have their privacy, which is awesome. If you noticed, we made a building error mistake. It was Sunday, late, and that's okay, because the silver lining here is that this wall actually serves to hold this hamper, which is always overflowing with clothes. You know how it is. What we love also at Ikea is that we got these. It serves as a night table, a nightstand, because clearly we can't have any right here. So these guys put their personal items here. I don't know why this is here, but this guy puts his pens and his pencils and his books because he likes to read and just um, chill out at night. Now these beds are really cool because for as an adult, as a parent changing the sheets, it's not super high. I still have my two feet on the floor, whereas the old bunk beds that we used to have, it was high up and I would literally have to climb up on the bed and change it myself and you know, my head's on the ceiling. It was just uncomfortable, inconvenient and not working. So when we saw these guys at Ikea, we liked the price and we jumped on it right away. They were perfect height for changing. What's great also about these is because we're taking advantage of the height, each kid gets their own personal space at the bottom and it's awesome. And now because we're over the garage, it gets pretty cold during the colder months. I'm actually looking into like a carpet or, you know, those small foams or fold out couches that we can get that's pretty inexpensive or even a bean bag if I can get my hands on them. Uh, but the boys are absolutely loving, loving, loving their space. It's really cool. Like who wouldn't love this? I would have loved this when I was younger. What's great about these beds is that they grow with you. So when they get older, this whole thing flips over and then this bottom part becomes like the top, like a bedpost. And then the mattress will be down here. We just have to remove the stairs and it's just a four post bed. It didn't take long to put together. I think we left Ikea and got home around 4.35. The kids were in bed by 9.35. The only thing that my son didn't like it the first night was this creepy monkey. <laughs> the dark shadow kind of creeped him out so we just stuffed a bunch of the stuff. He's over on one side or a big pillow and he was fine. Last night he didn't even, it didn't bother him so he was all good. So let me know what you think and if you have any questions I'm here for you. Let me know but uh, it's all from Ikea. Have a great day. It's called Kura Kudra. I can't even pronounce the name.